It's always such a push, isn't it, to clean your house before people come over. <laughs> we don't know how many people will watch this, but people are coming over. So we're actually having a bit of a clean up and it takes something when there's a, a boat with four people on it and uh, it takes something to get it all cleaned up. So I thought I'll just take you on a little bit of a tour of Zatara. Some of you will have seen her before uh, and for some of you she'll be brand new as she is really for us getting used to her. So come on, let's take a look. This is the fifth member and perhaps the most important member of our family right now, Satara. She is a Beneteau Oceanus 55, meaning a 55 foot vessel. Or for those who do metric better, she's about 16.8 metres long. She's also five metres wide. She has a colourful history, having sailed from Fort Lauderdale in the United States to Australia by many amazing anchorages with a courageous family of six on board. Our journey with her began in November 2021 and we bought her in our home port of Malula Bar in 2022. Let's go downstairs. So as you come down the stairs, here's the galley or the kitchen. Yes, we even have a toaster. Super important for my children. There's the medicines up the top there. The fruit, not too much fruit up here in tropical North Queensland, fruit. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, gas, even a little stove in there. There's an induction cooktop. Mm, generally we use that on the marina because it draws a lot of power. Here's our little bar fridge that holds a little bit of our food and there is a freezer in there as well. Because we mostly eat plant-based on this particular vessel, there is our Dometic freezer and we couldn't do without it. It's a fridge and a freezer. Living space. So much light, love it. Another lounge to sit on. Places to put our dry goods. And even a sneaky position over here for the TV. Not that we watch much TV, mind you. We are more often or not outside. More places to store our goods. Microwave, doesn't really get used, it's a storage actually. <laughs> and here's Bella. Spring clean. It looks like, are you Belle? Yeah. Those ones. Um, yeah. Can we do the rest of the time? You, you sure can if you like. That's yes. the steps to go up. No, I have to show them. Yeah. Okay. 
Yes, what would you like to show them oh, gosh. under here? It's <laughs> very heavy, isn't it? <laughs> so Insulated. Is smelly thing which is the generator for this one but it is the engine um very smelly you can get to it from my room and morgan's room yeah, yeah it's very fascinating now morgan can put it down um, and so this is morgan's room um lots of plushies as well these three are swish noise and that big one um it's really yeah. So into here, bathroom, here bathroom. We're not going to show you that right now because they're not working. Oh, that is working. So this was the new toilet that we put in. We had to put in a new toilet. So there's a toilet there. There's somewhere to wash your hands. And ta -da! we have a shower. So that's one of the little bathrooms. We call that toilet a head, which is yes. really strange. It's another one of those strange things, isn't it? Not the cleanest right now, no. but <laughs> oh, we need to clean this. And right, right here we have oh, yeah. the nav station. Yes. This is where Dad does all his work. The inverter, the generator, the switches, isn't it? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so that we know what's exactly what's Eating on. area, so we have the fridge, like, really set. So fridge, full of fridge, freezer full of food, it's really helpful. Because I eat a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have a fold up table which folds up and turns into this one of these. We have this, this goes up, we can transfer this to there, we can put that at the edge. Um, we have storage compartments for anything you want to store. Um, we have these for storages for anything. For drinks and yes. alcohol and yeah. all everything. Like. Shown that one? Yes. Yep. I've shown the TV. Yep. And then here. Yes. Um, so it comes out storage on there. That's the stuff. This is clothing where, storage. This is where I do my work. Down it? here. Yes. Clothing storage down here. Shower. That is not available right no, now. No, this is called the dumping ground shower because people got hot and decided to give me all the blankets. And we have somewhere to toiletries go. stuff and mm -hmm. stuff like that. More toiletries. More shoe seats, which doesn't mm -hmm. look that happy right now. More clothes. And in our place, this is my drawer because I don't have that much room. So we have the bathroom in here. Um, and then we have um, so this is a dresses mm -hmm. and big shirts. Area, then this is and this is the second place. this is the second toilet where we hang our wet weather gear as well. And this is a new this is a new toilet, a new head as well that we put in. Uh, and it's currently decided not to work again. But you know, you get that. And so it's got a little sink and that's it. Now this is and then this is um, my dad's side, which is James, the captain of this vessel. Um, so, of course, he has to have his big bed so he doesn't melt, like I feel like doing. Um, we got fans put in every room. I got a fan, mom got a fan. We got the fan taken out of here. So, got this big one. So, we have the storage. Nice view out to... I'll show them. Ten. Is behind about there, and it's an amazing view. And then, so we have stuff along here, which is just storage. The lights that are really helpful. Yeah. More storage cabinets for stuff that he needs. A bed, <laughs> a, a a good size for a boat of a bed. We have this, which has storage, which I have no idea what's in them. Um, good. <laughs> We have the panel for music because everybody likes my music. <laughs> yes, so I'm um, done. It's the same thing as this side, but just on this side. Big mirror. Under there is some lights that light up at night. Of course, we have an RC boat above <laughs> the shower. Of course, we do. Yes, of course, we do. So you have nowhere else to go. That's what we do. And that 
that is the inside of Zatara. Let's take a look at uh, Zatara, but uh, here she has on board. So this is the Starboard Helm Station and a couple of chart plotters. Manual winch, which uh, Kara mainly gets the job to mine. Some jammers. One of the primary winches for the Genoa. Second primary winch and a second helm station on the port side. Electric winch for uh, pulling out the mainsail and so forth. Currently we're um, motor sailing. The motor's just ticking over to charge the battery. So we have our Mates up, mates on the trail since the last, which is good for the bats. Um, then we got in front of that, we got a staysail which is furled up, so that's more of a heavy weather sail. And if we're doing a lot of tacking, that's on a self tacking track, which makes it quite easy. We don't have to furl up every time we take, we just tack straight over. This is our Genoa. So, Totally unfurled at the moment, so we're just going to uh, slightly crack the trees. And we're just going to sail up around this cargo ship and tear off a few degrees and sail up to Dunk Island for a couple of nights. So Tara is a cruising boat, but for a cruising boat, she gets along really well and really comfortable. Rig for a cruising boat. It's 22 metres from the deck. It's a glorious day on the water. Absolutely beautiful. Be sure to watch our next episode for our very first day of sailing the highs and the lows of this new adventure.